you know, from Wall Street to getting into space tech, uh, it's been quite a journey for you. And you've done it at IIT Madras, at the IIT Madras incubator. Uh, so we build small rockets that take satellites to space on demand. The one thing that is the biggest surprise for me even today is when we started, we never knew there would be this much clarity in policy. There would be a body to authorize space missions from India and all that. We started thinking, okay, we like to build rockets. If we build something interesting, someone would fly with us. <laughs> That's how it started. But you know, the cliche is it's not rocket science. So I, I want to understand that from you because you make it sound so casual. It's almost as if, you know, you woke up one day and decided this is what I want to do after breakfast. I mean, it can't have been that easy. No, it was not that easy. And it's that one statement that we can never use in our company, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not rocket science. <laughs> it's not rocket science. We can't say that. Uh, no, it is. it was hard and it was easy in different ways, right? The hard part was in terms of getting the quality aspects right, in terms of getting the integration of things right, in getting people from different uh, expertise, you know, specializations to talk to each other because otherwise everyone builds, uh, everyone ends up building his or her own rocket yeah. and it doesn't add up. But the good part is we have a very strong retired ISRO community in the country. Mm. And these people have flown rockets for decades. So you can start off from that, but then the new technology will have to be built in-house. So that's, that's how we have, you know. So, so very quickly, and I'm going to ask you to do this for us in a minute so that everybody here understands the kind of innovation that's gone into uh, putting that uh, first rocket that you launched in space. What makes it different? What is the innovative aspect as far as technology is concerned? And even in terms of cost, because I understand it's been significantly much more cost efficient and much more cost effective. So your time starts now. So what we did in our launch was to prove a bunch of these technologies that we had developed in-house. Say, for example, our rocket engines. It's one of the most spoken about ones in the media, at least, which is the, it's a, it's a single piece of hardware. The entirety of the rocket engine is made by the printer without any interference from a human. Right? So it's almost like you stand back and watch the engine getting made. Mm. And then what comes out as a full engine? So that's because only at that, uh, with that kind of manufacturing was the pricing working out. Similarly, our autopilot, and this is one of the other things, right? Because everyone talks about the 3D printed engines. The software team is like, wait, we're also building cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but it is not as fancy probably to say we've built our own autopilot now. I don't know. The flight was special also because it was a controlled flight. Like yeah. it had a vertical lift off. It had a particular point it had to get to. And it lifted off from our own private launch pad. Mm. Just, just to make the And jump. it was a first. It was an, a first in India, India. 